Reflecting on the RBV of the firm The RBV of the firm is one of the most widely cited theories in the management literature. Its central proposition connotes that if a firm is to achieve sustainable competitive advantage, it is required to acquire and control resources that are valuable, rare, unique, inimitable, and non-substitutable.31 Although the core theory of the RBV of the firm is appealing, it has been criticized for its weaknesses and shortcomings over the years. These criticisms fall into four categories. Criticism number one, the RBV has no managerial implications. The RBV of the firm has been criticized for its lack of managerial implications and operational validity. Managerial leaders have been counseled to acquire and develop resources without a clear prescription of how this should be done. Thus, there is a tension between descriptive and prescriptive theorizing. However, the RBV of the firm aspires to explain why some firms have sustainable competitive advantages over others. As such, the theorizing was never intended to provide managerial prescriptions. 32 selected writers assert that we should continue to focus on a discussion on the impact on managerial practice as opposed to a focus on a lack of managerial implications. 33. Criticism number 2 The RBV's applicability is too limited. A second criticism concerns the applicability of the RBV. Some authors argue that the notion of resource uniqueness denies the RBV of the firm any potential for generalization, 34, whereas others contend that it is feasible to create useful insights about degrees of resource uniqueness. 35 Another criticism pertains to the claim that the RBV insights are limited only to large firms with significant market power. However, a more realistic perspective is that insights from the RBV analysis are only applicable to firms that are not satisfied with their competitive position and actively pursue sustainable competitive advantages. Criticism number 3, Sustainable Competitive Advantage is Not Achievable One of the key foci of the RBV of the firm is the notion of achieving a sustainable competitive advantage that exceeds other firms' capacity to duplicate or eliminate it. This has become a hotly debated issue. Can a sustainable competitive advantage really be achieved? A number of studies suggest that competitive advantages can only be sustained at the firm level through organizational learning or dynamic capabilities, which enable the firm to adapt faster than its competitors. 36 other studies have demonstrated that static unique resources can lead to sustainable competitive advantages in static environments. Whereas dynamic environments demand dynamic resources and capabilities. 37. Criticism number 4 The definition of resource is unworkable. A fourth criticism posits that the RBV of the firm may not adequately address the fundamental differences in how various types of resources contribute in a different manner to a firm's sustainable competitive advantage. Although the RBV of the firm recognizes three categories of resources, it treats them equally. In a recent publication, Barney and Clark suggest that the offered typologies are mere labels for which the basic logic of the RBV of the firm still holds. 38 They propose that different labels would only be appropriate if these referred to an alternative logic of linking a firm's assets with its sustainable competitive advantage favoring a single logic and terminology. All these, for instance, could be labeled resource based capability-based, or competence-based. Other writers have concluded that the image and applicability of the RBV of the firm would improve if its basic logic would be refined by explicitly recognizing differences between types of resources, that is, static-dynamic, tangible-intangible, financial-human-technological, deployed-in-reserve, and perishable-non-perishable, and between the types of resource ownership. 39.